Hello and welcome back to Big G's Railroad Channel. This is Big G, your host, and today we are doing an unboxing mail call. That is right. I've got a couple new items and one quick thing to show you on the layout, and then we will be off to do some more modeling. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. All right, we got two packages here. One of them I've already opened. But I'm going to reopen it, show you what was inside, and show you what it looks like on the layout. And then the other one I'm going to unbox with you. So here we go. We're going to go to the box that has the newspaper sticking out of it. Something that I bought online um, from a vendor on Facebook. And I'm very proud to be the new owner of that. Here we go. Let me get rid of this newspaper real quick. And I've already taken them out of the box, but what we've got is eight Beth Gun Cole Porters, eight car set Kato, and it was done with CS, done with the CSX model. Uh, here we go. In case you need the part number or anything, and I'll go and show you those real quick. And try not to spin the camera too much. As you can see, not a whole lot on the layout's been done. I've got one project that I've been focused on, which will deal with package number two. But here are the eight Bethgon coal porters. If I can get it to focus here. I've got those parked in the yard there. They come with the metal wheel set. They look a lot like the Atherin. They're a little more dull. They're not as chromed out as what the Atherin uh, coal porter set is. Should weather up pretty nice. Um, like I said, metal wheel sets, and the only thing I don't really like about them is they don't couple that well, but that's okay because I'm planning on trading out to Micro micro Trains uh, couplers soon. But as you can see, even going down through there on a straight piece, it just does not want to couple too well. So I would highly recommend you're going to have to squeeze them a little bit to make them go together. But there they are. And we'll go back over to the other package. All right. So this package has to do with a scene that I'm making. And let's go ahead and pull, pull these out real quick. And that's fluffy outside the door, We're kind of whining a little bit because I kind of shut him out so I can make the video. And I got these from uh, Pfeiffer Hobbies. This package here. I had the pleasure of talking with him the other day when I ordered these. I just don't want to. He packs a good package, that's for sure. Now, what we have here is micro-engineering bridge flex track, and it comes with the two guide rails in there, which I'll get those installed, and I'll put those on the bridge, and I went ahead and told him that I just want it, since I was going to be running some steam, I want to go ahead and get the bridge uh, barrel platforms. I think I'm going to go ahead and install those on the bridge, but I've got them just, if I don't, I've got them. If I decide to, I've got them as well. But I think I'm going to put them on there just because I kind of like the way that looks on the bridge. With it being even a modern layout, I know that that's something that we probably wouldn't normally see. But I figure for historical value, I'd add that in. And I want to show you something else that I've done. So micro-engineering um, the bridge. I've got the 320-foot bridge. i got two of those. And when you get those, they are straight usually. But I toyed around with them a little bit, and I've made a curved bridge with them. You can curve it, and you can make it to the radius that you need. So I will try to do a tutorial on the other bridge when I get it going, but I've already made 
almost all of that. I've got two of those, and then I've got the straight pieces that will go over the tower bins. So, all together, I've got pretty much the whole bridge done. I've still got to get the painting done on it, and one more of the curved sections, and then I will have the full length of the bridge. And now I got the bridge in uh, the bridge track to put on top of it. It is code 55. So I've got to attach that to Atlas code 80. Uh, me and Mike was talking the other day when I was ordering it from him. I think I'm going to do some shims and try to solder those in or solder that in. But I think that's going to look really, really nice going across the top of that bridge. Very prototypical. Um, we'll add the, bridge, uh, the barrel platforms to it. But very happy with the way the bridge scene is starting to come out. And I'm off this coming Thursday, so I'm hoping that I will be able to build the second bridge, put the abutments in, and take out the foam tower and the foam underneath, cut the track out to where I need it, and hopefully start installing this bridge in the next week or two weeks. So without further ado, I will let you go, and thank you for tuning in. Stay safe out there, and until next time, have a great one.